the moment that you were convicted of first degree murder, describe that moment. I just went numb. I d didn't cry. Um, I didn't fall down. I didn't make a scene. Um, and he made it life without parole. I mean, that's tough. That's it the was rest of your life. Especially with the type of life that I've lived. My life was not on the streets. It wasn't drugs. It wasn't violence. It was a good life. But I have high hopes that I won't be here for the rest of my life and that the truth will come out. I look at the evidence. I mean, you know, your gut can be right, your gut can be wrong. Somebody can be, you know, uh, I guess a sociopath and c trick you. Um, so I, I don't go by that. I go by the evidence, and I believe she's innocent. I believe she was wrongly convicted. You see, Rebecca, I don't know what to think. You have an answer to everything. However dodgy it seems, you throw back a response. You're either the victim of an extraordinary miscarriage of justice, in which case your incarceration here for the rest of your life That's correct. is unspeakably unfair or you're a cold, calculating murderess mm -hmm. and the best liar I've ever met in my life. And I'll be honest with you, I don't know which one it is.